Class is now in session. I'm Professor Hockey, and today we will be recapping Game 4 of the Stanley Cup Finals between the Dallas Stars and the Tampa Bay Lightning. So the Stars were looking to get even in this series, tie it up at 2, and force a final best of 3 to decide which of the two teams would get the Stanley Cup. But instead, it is the Lightning, with a 5-4 overtime victory, who managed to take the 3-1 series lead and put it to match point tomorrow with the back-to-back -back game in the NHL's Infinite Wisdom in the game five. So this one starts off pretty well for the Stars. They get the first couple of goals of this game from Klingberg and then from Pavelski, but late in the first period, a very important goal is scored by Braden Point to cut the star lead in half and make it 2-1. That sort of changes the momentum pretty significantly, and the Lightning get another goal earlier on in the second period from uh, point again to make it 2-2. Then later on, Corey Perry would manage to get the lead back for the Stars, but then late in the second period, just like in the first period, it is the Lightning striking again. I guess Lightning does strike twice with Gord getting the goal and tying it up at three. In the third period, it is the Lightning who actually take a lead finally, getting one from Kalorn before it is Pavelski's second of the game to tie it up at four. And we head to the overtime. Both of these teams with a lot of overtime success thus far through these playoffs. The Stars obviously won their overtime against the Golden Knights during their series. The Lightning have a lot of success in the overtimes thus far, and it is the Lightning who managed to come out on top, getting a goal from Shattenkirk to take the victory 5-4. Good news for the Lightning. Obviously, the main good news has to be they are now one win away from the Stanley Cup. After the disaster that was last season, so many people making fun of them, saying that they would never succeed with a core like this. How could they after a 60-plus win season that ends up ending with a 4-0 uh, sweeping at the hands of the lowly Columbus Blue Jackets. How could this core ever do anything? They're so mentally weak. Things like that were said. And now all those people eating their words here as the Lightning now find themselves just one win away. Very impressive performance all throughout this game. Obviously ended up being quite close, but still... Lightning, I feel like they were the better team throughout most of the night, so credit to them where credit is due. They've looked very good thus far in this series besides Game 1, and that's why they have three in a row at the moment. It's going sort of a similar way as the series against Boston did, losing Game 1 and winning the next three. We'll see like if against Boston, they managed to take Game 5 as well. The bad news for the Lightning, I guess one player who I should mention is probably Andre Vasilevsky. Goals 3 and 4, I don't think he had much of a chance on. The fourth one was obviously just a, a weird deflection that ends up going past him. And the third one was sort of just an unfortunate situation. He gets pulled wide by Sagan and things like that. But the first two goals were somewhat disappointing, especially when you consider the circumstances in the first period. The Stars only ended up with three shots shots in the first period. The first shot came about seven minutes in. That was Klingberg's shot and it ended up going in and it wasn't a very nice goal or anything like that. Vasilevsky definitely could have had it. Then a couple minutes later, another shot from the Stars. That one was saved. And then finally in the last couple of minutes, it's Pavelski's goal. Another one Vasilevsky probably could have had. So it was actually a pretty good first period from the Lightning play-wise. But Vasilevsky ends up letting in the couple of goals that puts the Lightning in the early hole. Luckily, Tampa Bay does bail him out, as Vasilevsky has done to them multiple times in these playoffs. So, sort of, uh, the goaltender bails out the Lightning multiple times, and now finally the Lightning return the favor here tonight. I suspect Vasilevsky should bounce back for next game. On the Stars' side, the main good news that you could probably give is the fact that the series isn't over yet. You know, they're still alive in this one. They can technically still come back. Though the same bad news from the previous game still exists, where it just feels as though these teams are so, so even until the point where the Lightning decide like, oh, actually... Let's go get a couple of goals and the Stars just sort of back off and say, oh, well, understandable, have a nice day. You go get a couple of goals and then we'll go back to playing some even hockey in a couple of minutes. And the, the Lightning say, well, thank, thank you, we'll get a couple here. So that seems to be the situation for the Stars. They just can't seem to compete when the Lightning turn it on. And as I said, this was the same thing I had said in the previous game. One good thing that I do think came out of this game is the uh, re-emergence of Tyler Sagan. So the Stars have been getting some good performances from most of their top players throughout these 
these playoffs. Obviously, Jamie Benn, the captain, has looked very good at times, especially in that Golden Knights series was maybe the MVP for them besides Kadobin. Uh, Radulov hasn't been super consistent through these playoffs, but he's usually shown up at multiple times to really make up clutch plays. Pavelski has also looked quite solid getting these 12 goals through these playoffs thus far. But Sagan, who is potentially their best player on paper, at least uh, at the moment or at least prior to these playoffs before anything happened here, hasn't really been all that apparent throughout most of this. But tonight's game, he definitely was a factor. He didn't end up scoring a goal, but he got a couple of assists couple of assists he was a key part of both the third and fourth goal for the Dallas Stars so if Sagan can get activated a bit here maybe the Stars do have a chance of staging this comeback on the bad news size just like the lightning it has to be Anton Kudobin here it wasn't a great game for him a couple of goals he absolutely would have wanted to have back and this is not just this first game right I'd said for the lightning that Vasilevsky I suspect a bounce back but after the previous game in game three it was not a great game for Hudobin but I actually spared saying his name because I thought maybe it was just a small blip after Hudobin had looked so good in the past few games but now two games in a row hasn't looked all that great and you have to wonder if maybe fatigue is playing a role here it's been a really strange playoffs for him obviously it wasn't necessarily confirmed that he'd be the starter coming into these playoffs Ben Bishop was obviously there but Ben Bishop got injured and then in his one game back was awful so Hudobin ends up taking the mantle as the starter and has played most of the time for this team since then and so now these past couple of games it hasn't looked great the Dallas Stars are coming up to a back-to-back game here I suspect Hudobin is going to be back between the pipes I don't think Edinger gets it I don't think Bishop gets it so this could mean a bit of trouble for the Dallas Stars unless Hudobin can suddenly find his game back but that will do it for this recap in terms of my prediction I had said the star the lightning would win it in six games now up 3-1 in this series I still think it is possible for the Stars to at least get one more but we may end up seeing the lightning taking it in five class dismissed